everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working on the slate tile work for up above the shower in this bathroom. Yesterday, I was working on these trim pieces, all this trim wood that goes around, and got all that stuff up. I got three coats of a uh, kind of acrylic water-based seal, a kind of a polyurethane sort of thing. And now, like I said, I'm working on getting the... Uh, the slate up. This is the first piece uh, that's going to go in right here. It uh, needs to come in through here, kind of kick up around the, uh, the corner there, and uh, it's not going to be able to go all the way over to the corner there. These sheets of uh, slate are about one foot by two foot, so I'm going to have a few more inches over left in the corner. My plan uh, generally is to have one big piece here, one big piece there, kind of mirror image. They're not going to completely extend to the corner. I'm going to have a small piece here, a small piece here, and then two big sheets and then kind of same thing over in the corner where it's two small sheets next to each other. Uh, I think that'll look kind of nice where it's mostly big sheets but the corners have, have smaller pieces in there. So uh, I got this kind of generally uh, roughed out here where it is a certain height for a certain distance and then it kicks up and then continues over uh, the rest of the way. I'm going to use a stone saw for cutting this stuff out. Uh, the last thing I have to do for this uh, piece before I cut it though is figure out exactly where this uh, this little shower head thing comes out. So we're going to figure that out right now. Uh, for drawing on the uh, slate, by the way, I'm just using a white crayon. Nothing special. You could use chalk, too. I happen to have a white crayon, so that's what I've been doing. Uh, now, these uh, little shower things, they oftentimes have a little ring that goes around it. That oftentimes it's just it kind of just slides right away. And what I'm going to do is just find out how far over this thing is this way and how high up it is, and we'll locate it that way. So let's see. Center of this is uh, at just about, I'm going to say, uh, 16, and, 16 and an eighth. So 16 and one eighth inches from that side on the tile. 16 and one eighth. I'm going to put like a little mark around there. Uh, I'm trying to account for the fact that I don't want the tile to fill up the entire area. I want a quarter inch uh, bead around it where I'm going to be putting the grout. So um, I'm kind of accounting for that in my head as I do this. And same from the bottom. I wish I was just ever so slightly taller for this. Uh, it looks like it's uh, to the center of the pipe from the bottom. It is about seven inches, but I want to account for that quarter inch bead at the bottom. So it's maybe just a little more than six six and three quarters inches up from the bottom. And actually this would be a better tool for that. Six and three quarters, a little more I said, right? Right like that. Okay, so that puts our center right here. And now I just gotta figure out the thickness of this pipe is about an inch. It's a little less than an inch. So as long as I make a hole that is about an inch around, just like that. Okay, yeah. As long as I make an in, a hole that's about about one inch around, right here, uh, I should be pretty good. So, so again, just taking the sto stone saw, cutting in, stone saw, cutting in, stone saw, cutting across. Uh, use a, a pair of pliers to kind of uh, pluck out the corner here, because uh, the saw can't go right up to the corner. It leaves a little bit left later. But uh, the pliers pull that right off. I use like a big plumber's wrench, actually. Uh, no, plumber's pliers. Plumber pliers. Um, and then with this, I'm, I've got a, uh, a tool for di uh, drilling into concrete. You've seen me use it a couple times. I'm just going to make kind of a perforated edge around there uh, with that tool, and then I'll kind of just pop it out with a little bit of a chisel. But I'm going to make sure that I... Uh, Get the holes pretty close to each other because when I, I pop with a chisel, I don't want any cracks flying through. That's it for today. I want to get all these stones ready, cut, and we're supposed to have rain tomorrow, so it um, might be a good day for gluing these things up. Of course, i got to get more mastic. I'm low on mastic. I had some, and it dried out, and it went, went bad, so i got to buy some more of that. But as soon as I get it, I'll pop everything up. That's it. Thanks for watching.